mates who just ask him to push, push, and she pushes him down. So it's the same behaviour with the target board, but it's on practical things. So the client may not have the power in their legs to push those down. The assistant dog will do that for you. Going down the street, you've got a pedestrian crossing, you've got a light there, so you want to change that light from green to red. So the push command, go on, you can push it. So with the push command, she needs to hit the button, which then flips the, the button in. So going down a public place doesn't cause them any challenges. Going into sh public shops, you've got the big button, the dog would go and use their paw, and they would make contact with that button and then change it. And you'll see later on as well that the, the push can be used for many other things around the house. Moving on to another task, and that's a, real, that's a pull. All our dogs love playing tug of war with their lead or the toy or maybe your jacket or something. We want that behaviour, we want it in a controlled fashion. So they take hold of the pull cord and they move away from you in a controlled way. So you can see when he takes hold and just pulls away. We get that on command. Once that's on command, again, we then introduce them to articles, objects, around the house, down public places. So we go across to the door there, where we want Winnie to open the door, so just take hold of the pull cord, and she'll take hold of the cord, and then swing the door open, which would then allow the client to go through. So come on, Winnie, swing the door open. She says, there's a few trees down here. My, my gun dog nose isn't, isn't letting me down. And then the door would be open, and then obviously the client would then have to go through into the lounge or out their front door, down the public place and so on. If you're winning, you think, yeah, I'm going to walk through the door. Not going to walk through the wall. I'm not going to go through the door. Hey, hey. Going over to the washing machine over here. Okay, now the washing machine actually is a piece of equipment that involves different tasks. So we've got a pull. So we need her to pull the washing machine door open. We then need her to load up the washing machine. So she places in the washing. No, not yet. She's not, it's not dirty. Don't need washing. So we need to open the, open the washing machine, that's it, load in the article, oh no, she dropped it, and said so I'm going to push it, I'm going to shut the door anyway. Come on, we need to start watching. So we want her to retrieve the article for us, that's it, give it to, to Janet, and we'll try again. We all work with dogs, we know they never get it you know, right 100% of the time. This is all the fun of working with dogs, we're going to get it right. Bingo, there's your treat, there's your game. So you can see the washing machine is a pull, a retrieve, a load, and then an unload as well. So <laughs> pull the door open, unload the washing machine, pack it to the good, client, yeah, and then shut the washing machine door like that. Excellent. And then lastly, we're going to show you, it's just a speed command. There are lots of our dogs working in homes where there's where they're perhaps by themselves, and they may need support or assistance. And they may say to their neighbour, if you hear my dog bark, 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 that means I need assistance. Use my key to come in. So three o'clock in the morning, if you hear my dog barking, use this key, I'll come round, I may have come out of my chair, out of my bed, and I need your support, I need your assistance. So give Janet a winnie a round of applause.